Hey everyone, today we're going to try and answer the question, can the Glowforge engrave on brick? So I've got this uh, brick from uh, Lowe's, it's about 50 cents, somewhere around 50 cents of brick. Uh, so we're going to go ahead, we're going to try and see if uh, the Glowforge can print on that, and if so, what settings I used, and uh, take a look at the finished product. Alright, first thing we need to go ahead and do is turn the Glowforge on. I have the chrome tray in there. I'm going to go ahead and let it uh, center with the crumb tray and then once it's done centering uh, we're going to take the crumb tray out and put the brick right on the uh, floor of the Glowforge. So we'll let that do its thing there and we'll get back to it. Okay, now that the glow for is done centering, I'm going to take the crumb tray out, open the uh, lid up on the open front here, get the crumb tray pulled out of there. Okay, for all my projects, what I try to do, I try to sit the material right in the middle. Uh, it's best for the camera, that fisheye lens works best there. Uh, and what I also want to do is set the height, the focus length, automatically. It seems like that's the easiest way to do it for me. Everything usually works out perfectly that way if I just let it do it automatically. So I'll go ahead and close that up. Close this up. I'll go over to the computer. Okay, we're over here at the computer. I just want to share with you that uh, our whole motivation for doing this project was the loss of our uh, nine and a half year old Doberman Dobby. He uh, passed away suddenly, and uh, he is the motivation for this project. Okay, so let's uh, get to the project here. All right, you can see the brick right here on the uh, computer screen <coughs> through the Glowforge app. So what I'm going to go ahead and do here is I went ahead and made a uh, outline of the brick here. So what we need to do first, and I, I know I did it over there, but I'm going to go ahead and show you over here. So I had to set the focus on it here and it'll come over just so that it uh, is the correct size on the computer screen here <coughs> okay it's all set here so I want to line this up with the brick uh, all right and I have this set to ignore so I'm, I'm just gonna ignore this all right so I already did the uh, artwork that I wanted I selected the font that I wanted and I downloaded these uh, paw prints from the internet. And I have it lined up how I want it here. So what I'm going to do, and I also grouped it together, so so that's all one piece. And you do grouping together, you just you just uh, right right click on it and then you can do group and ungroup, edit and group. So we're just going to go ahead and leave it like that and then I'm going to select everything here on the screen and I'm going to come down here to the align tool and I want to align it to the center and I want to align it to the middle okay so they're aligned together now and then I'm going to move these up here and get it aligned with the brick and have it centered on that brick alright and I'll go over here to the uh, settings that I have come up with that work best uh, for engraving brick I have it set at speed 125 full power convert to dots uh, lines per inch 270 number passed is 1 and I have the focus height set to auto so we're gonna go ahead and since we have it lined up the way we want it we're gonna hit the print button there give it a few seconds here to see how long it's gonna take And there's two minutes, two hours and six minutes to print this out on here to, to do the full engrave. So we're going to go ahead and go over to the Glowforge and go from there. Okay, now that I got everything all set up on the computer, we're going to go ahead and push the print button and we'll let that run its course here and we'll take a look at it when we're done.
Okay, we're all done with it here. And I'll show you how it turned out. Okay, yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. it turned out pretty good. Um, it does turn out white on the laser for some reason. I'm not sure why that is. But, uh, yeah, it's uh, got pretty good depth on the engraving. Uh, works real nice. What I would try to do uh, next time is mask it. Uh, engrave it through the masking. And then uh, sp uh, spray it with a clear coat. And then spray it with your desired color. Uh, and that would, uh, and then take the masking off. And I think that would turn out really, really nice. But yeah, it uh, definitely does work with the with the engraving on the Glowforge. It's a little over two hours uh, time to do it, but I'm real happy with it. If you have any questions or comments, uh, please leave them down below. Thank you.